previously on my farming life. Take them two by two and stack them in the... Uh yeah, we'll get this loaded up and then we'll drive this one away. Um, we'll go and figure out where in the field we're going to put it so we're not in anyone's way, but it's also in a nice position to spread. And not the biggest trailer in the, road, in the world, but we got enough in. It's slipping. What's going on, cuz? How are you doing? Uh, combine, two fields down with us and it hasn't skipped a beat so far. It's been perfect. Really, really... Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my farm and life. You join us here in the middle of Northumberland as we are. Well, we're harvesting oilseed rape. We're going and Bungle is in the combine today. Uh, he is uh, cracking along and uh, we're going to leave this about here, I reckon, for now. Uh, let's just see if he's good for being here. Uh, where's the CB radio? Get that one going. Bungle, your trailer service has arrived. So I see. Just park them on the side there, will you? Trevor just called, by the way. The power harrow is ready to pick up. You also mentioned that there's a few tractors there that might suit us. If you want to go and take a look around them, see which one you think. Oh, right. Right, yes. Uh, I've almost forgot about that, to be honest. Uh, I'll go and pick it up now. Uh, have a look, see what he's got in his yard there as well, and then we can uh, have a chat about it. We'll get you down there at some point or another. I think Uncle should be on his way down shortly anyway to finish carting up with you as well. Yep, think we should be fine. This is yielding okay in spots, not so well in other spots. Be curious to see what the agronomist thinks of it all. It will indeed, it will. I have many, many questions to ask them. Uh, anyway, I'm leaving the tractor for you here anyway, so enjoy, keep cracking on. Um, anyway, so... All right, so we're cracking on with a bit of harvest. As you can see, Bungle is going. He doesn't often do too much combine driving, like I've uh, mentioned in the past, but this is his field. He always harvests front field. Why? I've got no real clue, but this has just been his field. He's always liked to do, and then he used to do a lot more, and gradually uh, I've taken over the responsibilities of that. But he's uh, he always will still do this field, and full power to him. If that's what he wants to do, I'm not going to get in his way with that one. So he is in. We're in a, uh, a field of OSR at the moment. It's coming through quite well um we have very varying uh degrees of success really when it comes down to uh, our ability to grow osr and uh it's it's something that we're 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 strongly discussing whether or not we're going to keep going with we i like the idea of maybe using a different break crop here uh, we do get some really good success with wheat on the back of oilseed rape but uh, at the moment there yeah it's sometimes it's just too much so uh and there's so much that can go wrong before you even get out the ground really so we are we're looking into a few different options there but for now at least the combines will keep going through there and we've got another field to get going with we've got one done over at the um over at south healy that's all done so this is our big field then really that's it for oats uh, for oilseed rape then we're into oats and then uh, winter wheat as well and a couple of fields of linseed one of which is a big one over the back of the sheds there uh and then from linseed we're into uh, a little bit of, i got one field of spring barley as well and that's us so um bungle mentioned there that we're gonna have the agronomist coming in soon to have a look at um do some soil sampling with us it's been a long long time since that was done and i think we're gonna learn quite a lot whether or not we're quite ready for what that looks and sounds like i don't know how is this gate being left open uh, let's get that shut so uh yeah we will see about that but that's part of the the plan for us anyway so i want to get all of our fields tested so we can then have an idea of what that looks like I have been spending my day clearing fields of straw, and I'm going to continue doing that. The field, the field down the way is all but done, uh, and then we've got, um, we've got probably one tray load left to get out the field um, on the elbows there as well. But tree fields done. Uh, but before we do that, I guess we're going to have to pick up the uh, the new power harrow. You can see straw is going into there, slowly but surely filling that up. Um, hay shed looks pretty full. You know, we can get a few more bales in there, of course we can, but I'm pleased with what we've got coming into there already. Uh, so I we'll guess we'll take the case down to go and pick up our new power harrow. Now we have the, we have a combination, so we already have one drill there, of course, but we're, uh, or one power harrow, but we want to get another one so we can stick it onto another tractor so we can, in theory, speed things up. Part of me as well wants us to get away from full cultivation, but we're a bit off that and some of our ground is very heavy clay so we do need a power harrow to get through that uh and to get us into any decent position there so we'll, we'll have to look into that and see how uh what that looks like and 
part of the reason we want to get the agronomist team back in is just to see what our soil is like and the health of our soil so we can make an informed decision about about what our options are really um so we'll have to see but anyway let's just uh go and pick up this oh there you go. i'll go and pick up this power anyway it's a new bit of equipment to us uh we like i said we never really buy new tractors but where we can and where budgets will allow we will pick up new uh new equipment to work on the back uh there he is he's flying through that field actually this is one of the fields and parts that has some really heavy clay in it and it's not great uh to work with and it's also on the wet year it's terrible really 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 poor yields however uh, let's get ourselves down we'll go and see trevor is our uh, local dealership manager down here we spend a lot of time uh, and let's be honest an awful lot of money with trevor but uh we've been discussing recently the idea of maybe looking into a new tractor as a as a um a committee here as i like to say oh get up there we've been um and r and over a, a big heavy uh cultivations tractor so uh that looks like our power horror dead ahead and uh, we'll probably just swing back and have a look there's a few there's all sorts of equipment in here but yeah a big trailer like that would not go onto one of our tra uh, tractors very well at all so we'd have to really upgrade an awful lot to make that happen but anyway let us get ourselves uh, all lined up here and then we can we'll go and see trev see what he's got going on and uh, have a bit of a chat with him really and have a look see what we've got here from a machinery standpoint as well all right so we're all hooked up there it's a simple three meter power harrow it's really nothing special at all but what it'll do it's small and it's fairly lightweight so it can actually go onto any of our tractors even the 7810 stick some drill wheels onto that and it'll be able to pull everything and just give us a little bit of work ahead of the drill so it's good to have there um a few nice looking tractors around here actually uh these few old classics as well that case is uh not much newer than ours actually and it's it looking in great nick um we've got a Renault a res there as well with that 640rz we've got a very nice looking case puma 145 an arian 640 and a t7 a new holland um so yeah lots of different machines around here now we have been having a discussion like i say as a committee around increasing uh one of the main reasons for that is that we've been discussing the need to, the way our business is that we want to move our business it's expanding we want to be able to take on more cattle and, uh, and get really into the calf rearing business a bit more uh we want to be able to have a little bit more land to work as well uh and all of these things mean that we've got more acreage to cover we've got more land to work which means that we need bigger implements and we need bigger tractors to cover it uh our, our fleet's been great for us for years but to be honest the amount of work that that case is doing in the corner is dwindling the ford 7840 can do a, a decent job the massey can but it's slow uh and and it's starting to show its age so uh, and the 7810 there's just a lot of small stuff around the yards to be honest there and lots of carton of bales and that kind of stuff but if we were to really think about it significantly increasing our acreage and we bought the combine with that intention in mind down the road to take on uncle's ground when when that becomes available you know we're gonna have to keep up with it somewhere and somehow and the next step might be at least one bigger tractor and then you know will it'll be a gradual thing it'll be something that's very much worth doing so something like one of these that would be uh that would be very nice nice big new hollander um and you know we've we, we're not brand loyal really we've got a we've got a case we've got four we've got new holland we've got a massey there of course so uh we're open to options now trevor here like i say we know very well and we we can uh, trust his his ability to find good machines and we'll you know we'll we'll speak to him about perhaps looking out there for something and see what he can find but you know there are a few options here anyway and we'll have a chat with him just have a quick see and i wouldn't mind getting to know a bit more about either this case or this new holland there so we'll have to see uh but yeah see if he's around here hello trev how's it going hello mate good to see you how are you keeping harvest going okay you here for the power harrow, I presume? I've yeah, absolutely doing well. Yeah, we're not too bad. Uh, we've put on the power harrow; it's ready to go. Thank you for that. Um, we'll probably get a couple of uh, cartons of uh, grease whilst we're here as well for that. I think just to keep ourselves going and stocked up. Uh, anything else you need to know about that? No, it's a nice, straight, and well-built tool. You'll figure it out. Superb. These tractors that you got in the yard here. 
Uh, I'm a little bit curious about some of them, if I'm What's going on with the, well, what's the story with the, the case in the New Hollander? Two beauties, aren't they? We took those in as trade-ins from an arable farmer up in Berwick-upon-Tweed. Mm. They've both got low hours, are well-maintained. Great examples. Well, it is, yeah. Do you think as well that we'd be able to get a demo of them, or at least have a bit of a drive? Take it for a spin somewhere? That won't be a problem at all. Ah, good. Good step up from your current fleet, dare I say. Well, I mean, our maximum right now is, what, 120... 125 horse in the Massey. Um, we're thinking a minimum of 150, if not 170, somewhere around that mark. If we could, that'll give us a bit of an option moving forward. Uh, GPS compatibility it would be uh, would be a very big positive to have. And um, if it's not necessarily there, but the ability to have it integrated for sure, that'll be big. Happy to lend it to you for a day's demo. Notice they've got front linkages on there as well. Um, I, I trust everything's true. Yeah. As tight as a drum. That's superb. Okay. All right. Well, what I'll do is have a quick look around them, and then we'll probably get um, Bungle and Uncle to come down to some stage as well and have a look, and then we'll arrange to get it uh, to get something up for a bit of a spin, I suppose. Just let me know what you're thinking. Always happy to help. Oh, perfect. All right. Well, you look after yourself, and uh, we'll be back in touch soon with those. Speak soon. Sounds good. Nice man, this driver. He's always done as well. Uh, all right, yeah. I don't know if that's 145 horse or if it's more. I'd have to look into that because some of these are oh, turboed up a bit. The class I don't know too much about. There's a class dealer not too far away, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. I do like the and the, again the New Holland equal size, kind of very similar. I guess case New Holland are very similar tractors anyway. So perhaps that's just the same, but with a different. Fun on there, but yeah, these are looking pretty good. I wonder what the hours are on these. Anyway, we'll have to have a look. We'll have to see, see what it can do for us. But anyway, and the other side of it as well. I mean, we want to really increase our acreage covered. We're gonna have to get bigger machines, and I don't think many of my machines right now will be able to lift this cultivator. For example, it's only what four meters wide, and it just looks so heavy. I rip, the, rip the back end of my uh, case off here. Uh, anyhow. Let's get this back. Uh, we're not going to be using it today, but it'll be good just to get it into the yard. And uh, like I say, it's a handy little thing to have. It will be getting a bit of use, that's for sure. And we will see. So we've got a busy, busy week coming up. Obviously, harvest is still cracking on there. We do have to uh, have this agronomist come in because we're expecting a, a quite a few things need to be done to some of our ground. And if that is indeed the case, we're going to have to, you know, order in uh some various different forms of treatments that we could put onto there be it either something like lime or if it's uh just a different type of uh, fertilizer that we need to put on either way we're gonna have to do something we, we always try and put our own muck down there as well and i think that will still be a thing that we'll have to consider uh but what we'll try and do is get ahead of all that whilst keeping harvest spinning we are actually also going to be looking into another parcel of land soon as well that is one of my uncles it's not the entirety oh look at him cracking along there He's absolutely flying it right now. He really is. Good on him, Bungle. Good on him. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll be able to hopefully take that ground on there. I think it's grassland at the moment, but we will we'll see what the uh, details are about that and whether or not it has to stay as grassland. I don't know, but we're going to have to take a drive and have a look at it. Um, we're coming into here to get this cleared. I want to get the, the plow going soon. Uh, we do still at the moment, like I mentioned, fully cultivate everything with conventional tillage. Uh, but that is something I'm looking to get away from for a few reasons. One, um, cost. Uh, cost of both maintenance and machines. Wear and metal is expensive on the plow. Fuel when you're uh, plowing and power harrow, then drilling is expensive. And Lord knows we could do with trimming that down. Uh, and also soil. Soil quality, soil condition is not great. But we it does suit our needs, like I say, in some of these grounds. You just wouldn't get away with anything else. But anyway, that is something that we'll continue to look into and investigate. And if we were to ever change that practice, it comes at an extreme expense. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but that being said, we will continue to ask the question, continue to uh, investigate all our options and see if it makes any sense whatsoever. Uh, right now, though, right now we're going to finish off stacking some straw. Uh, pull the 7810 through. 
that's the other thing i think if we did get a new tractor i don't even think i'd want to trade one in uh i like the idea I like the idea of some stage of not having to call out the feeders between two farms and just having to having them one at each end just for where they need to be you know but i don't know that's that's a lot of money down the line there i don't think we're anywhere near doing that but what we'll do is continue to keep our options open there anyway and really look into it and see uh we have a budget in mind if we were to go for something like that we know what the cost per acre would have to break down to be but you know just always lots of different things that we can discuss uh, the main thing is actually that we're all aligned on this as a decision that it's about time to do it um it's which is the biggest thing now in the last uh, last episode we had uncle and uh, bungle went away to look at the uh look at some new more calves and speak to a, a, a farmer about uh taking on a large number of his uh, a large number of his calves so you know the conversation has been had about that now where they're all going to go i don't know uh Certainly, calf sheds are pretty full down here and up at South Healy, but there's a few different working options there, so uh, we will see. Uh, but, with that being said, we're just going to keep cracking along here. There you go. So yeah, we'll get this, this shed uh, cleared nice and quickly. Like I say, that's all. I'm all done from Treefield. Then we can just move on to get them cleared out of the elbows. Uh, and then it's all undercover. They've been outside now for a few days. So they've had a good amount of wind through them. Uh, take out any of the heat. Um, and then, yeah, we should be good to go. Uh, I like to just get this all done whilst we can. And then you know, the weather's looking pretty good for the future. But it just means that whenever the, we can't get on with harvest in there, we're straight away to go on to the cultivation where we need to. Uh, a little bit of obviously rape to go for next year that we want to get started on probably in the next couple of weeks uh certainly by the time we get into like first week of august i really want that done uh and get ahead of the game oh he's got to be a little bit careful coming in now we're here make sure we don't prang off the side of the fence or anything on or, or the roof it's been done before I'll never live that down again okay uh we only got three high four high in the middle there it's not worth going any higher to be honest uh we've got enough storage space around this end of the, the farm at least uh we'll probably be keeping a bit for south healy down here as well because they don't have quite so much yet watch that shed that there you go all right then so yeah, like I say, this one will get emptied out fairly quickly, and then we'll go and head on down to the uh, to the elbows and see what we'll get into there. Uh, and then, really, after that, it's onwards probably. Uh, we don't have anything quite ready to go yet, but the combine's staying down here anyway, so next thing will be into the oats. Uh, so, if nothing's ready to go there, I might even look to get a bit of plowing done or get a bit, get a bit of cultivation work done somewhere, just so we can really get ahead of the game. Uh, and, and push forward all right just like that this trailer's all but cleared really and uh, nice and easy sometimes it's a pain to use this telehandle to get too much done but old faithful just keeps on ticking along it's uh quite magical actually uh but anyway let's get this all done and dusted that last two coming off here uh, we'll probably just go and drive this straight on down actually i think and then come back for the the ford that grass field on the far side is actually coming through quite nicely as well uh so it's uh it's probably going to get a good decent uh, what would that be third cut there now which is uh quite cool so we'll be able to stock up in here a bit more get some round bailed silage done somewhere as well uh or maybe a bit of hay depending upon if the weather will stay kind ideally i'd like to do hay but you know we'll see i definitely have a bit more to do oh lord over at south healy uh so we might try and get that taken care of soon all right stick you there wonderful stuff okay then well with that in let's just go and take this down over the road uh and then we can move on with a couple more fields nice getting ticked off the list there uh yes i can squeeze through there wonderful stuff Uncle can't be far off being finished that if he isn't already. That'd be good. 
he said he might service that combine off as well just give it a bit of a dust down and a blow down which you know i've already done it once so he can do it again and i'm fine with that that's not a problem that's one of our big fields of wheat that we need to get into that's still a little while away there yet oh look at that hold that balloon uh but yeah it's looking great really really is looking fantastic all right so we'll head on back over uh the field in front of us is a little grass paddock uh we typically make into small square bales of hay uh we have an old bale that sits up at, in the corner of a shed up at uh, south healy and we'll usually bring it out make some hay and straw small square bales which go to a couple of stables nearby and uh i hate doing it every year it's never uh straightforward there's always something going wrong with that baler and uh it's typically done on one of the hottest days of the year so it means that you absolutely exhaust on the back of it however it gets done and it means that we can you know sell a few extra bales off here and there where we don't need them so so that's what we'll do and uh, yeah we'll be probably getting on with that soon like i said weather's looking good for the next week or so but then i think it gets a little bit wet after that so we will try and get ahead and uh and get that job ticked off if we can i'd love to have that done before before the rain comes uh we've got a bit of hay to make up at south Ely as well that grass is coming through uh with some of the silage ground that we did last um back in may there so we'll see what we can do for that right now though well we'll probably just continue and keep cracking on really see how much else we can get uh taken care of here and get these cleared bring uh get our agronomists in soon to see what our fields need to have done and also uh start to have a bit more of a discussion with the rest of the, the team around tractors which is always my favorite type of dis uh, discussion to have so we'll see how we get on but right now though we'll leave it here i do hope you have enjoyed if you have and you've yet to do so do please uh, give this a like and subscribe for more i've been simulation for the nation i really do appreciate all the kind words and the comments and the uh, interaction uh, so i'd love to see uh, what you think of this latest episode so thank you very much for watching do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you in the next one.